So guys, we have Bill Gates in Africa again, and this is not his first time. His foundation has been working with Africa over 15 years. He recently visited Nigeria and Ethiopia. In Ethiopia, he focused on topics such as healthcare, economy, and agriculture. But why would they need his help on this? What is his influence doing for the people in Africa? Like I said, this is not his first time in Africa. He's been doing business in Africa for years. I came here uh, both on business and uh, also to relax, uh, which I've done for the last few days. Uh, and so it was very successful on, on both fronts. Well, let's not forget his visit in Nigeria and his focus on the government and malnutrition. He says that about 40% of the people in sub-Saharan Africa are unnourished, which translates into millions of kids who do not get to fully develop physically and mentally. So his job is to go all the way to Africa to tell Africans that they are not nutritioned when America is having recalls left and right. But there are a lot of innovations that can make a difference and Nigeria is helping lead the way. So let's see the innovations, ideas that Bill Gates have for Nigeria. Health is, is going to be something important. You know, we can adopt a lot of uh, innovations. Um, you know, it's, it's great. You know, we're, you know, sitting and talking about, okay, what is the next phase in primary health care? Uh, you know, how do we take these new ideas, like our understandings of nutrition or things to solve anemia, you know, we have a, a fantastic way that was uh, tested here in Nigeria. Basically, Bill Gates' job is to promote the medical industry and involving his vaccines and innovations that have nothing to do with the health and the help of our people. The only reason why Bill Gates have influence on Africa is because of the funding that he provides for them. But this funding comes with a price. This funding comes with his ideas being involved in Africa and all the things that they do on a daily basis. Such as all of these vaccines and implements that he has pushed onto the people that has caused more health risks to the people. This is just another reason why we need a government for us by us. And let's not forget these so-called African leaders that endorse Bill Gates to come to their country and influence them on stuff that is not okay.